Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today I'm going to share with you how I do rotisserie chicken. I'm going to be using my Napoleon gas grill. I've got a great herb butter recipe that we're going to put under the skin on this chicken. We're just going to get the seasoned outside, real simple. Salt, pepper, and garlic, my all purpose seasoning. Then we're going to get it out on the Napoleon, get it on the rotisserie rod, and let it spin in some good heat. All right, so I have two whole chickens that I picked up at my local Kroger, brought them home, took them out of the package, you know, got the giblets out, um, took my hands and kind of loosened up the skin a little bit so I can get this butter up under it. Then I patted them dry with pepper towel just to make sure I get the excess moisture off of them. Uh, real important that you do that. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some room temperature butter. We're gonna mix in some fresh herbs with it, kind of uh, flavor that butter and what I'm using is some finely cut up parsley, some thyme, and a little rosemary. Those are all flavors that go great with chicken. And it's going to kind of remind you of that Thanksgiving flavor. And we're going to put that right up against the meat underneath the skin. So where it really stays in there as that chicken spins on that heat of the rotisserie, the butter will melt. It's going to keep the meat nice and moist and those herbs will stay behind. So it's going to be real flavorful. Now I am using a salted butter. So you don't have to add any excess salt to it, and it's gonna give some of that flavor to the meat as well. Now I've already uh, got a stick of butter that I softened up and mixed up some of the herbs with. I use about a tablespoon of the parsley, the thyme, and the rosemary, and just mix them up in the butter. And this just makes it easier to where you can um, mash it up under the skin really, real easy. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna take a little bit in my hand. I'm gonna wear gloves, I'm dealing with raw chicken. And I'm just going to kind of make a paste and spread it all up in there as far as I can. We're going to come in from the bottom, spread it all over the breast. Then we're going to try to go down, get it up in the leg cavities as well. You can take your fingers and just kind of work up under that skin there and work it down around the legs. And you need about a half a stick of butter so for each chicken. So if you're doing two, one stick is plenty. Now we're going to spin it around. Come at it from the top side too. Just pull the skin back. Get the butter mixture up under it. And you can see some of the herbs through the skin. Let you know you got it spread out. Same thing for chicken number two. Pull the skin up, slide the butter under there. Just use your hands to kind of push it all on the breast, down around the legs. We're gonna come in with the, from the top on the second one. Now we've got good coverage underneath that skin. Okay, now that we have the butter mixture all spread out underneath the skin of the chicken, we wanna tie the chicken up, trust it. And the reason why we do this, because when we put it on the rod, we want all the pieces to spin and for it to be a tight, compact package to where it's gonna cook even all around the chicken. Now, I've got one already done here and you can see um, how great it looks tied up real tight and it's just going to go on the rotisserie rod so much easier. Nothing's going to be hanging out. If I were to stick this chicken on the rod, it's not even really going to want to spin because it's just loose and all spread apart. But we're going to show you how to tie it up. So to tie this chicken up, you just need, I don't know, about an arm's length worth of kitchen twine, butcher's twine, and just double it back on itself to catch it right in the middle. Now what you're gonna do, find the neck of the chicken. This is gonna kind of give you an anchor point here. You can see, I'm gonna take this loop and I'm just gonna put it down around the neck. Kind of catch it tight where it's pulled and then pull that string all the way back along his back. That way you can pull it tight. Thighs, right in between them. And then go right underneath and cross right under his butt. And that's where we're gonna bring it up and start catching his legs. So we're around the thigh, underneath his back. Now come up around the legs. This is where you can pull it tight. It's really gonna make that package. See how it, 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 when you, the tighter you get it, the more it, it compacts that chicken and it's gonna make it cook real even. So just start making a knot and pull it down tight as you can. I'm gonna catch it here and just make a simple knot. So now we're gonna come right back along those thighs and flip the bird over. 
and come right back under his neck and tie it once again. And go ahead and make that a double knot. It's gonna really lock it down. Then cut off the excess to tie it up. Flip the bird back over. Now you've gotta get the wings tucked in. So all you do is pull your piece of string up that you went around with and tuck that wing right up in there. Let it catch the tip too. Do the same thing for both sides. Now we've got two tied chickens that are ready to go on our rotisserie rod. Okay, so the chicken's tied. It's ready to go on the rod right before we season it. So I'm just using my rotisserie rod. We're coming right up the bottom end of the chicken, right up through the cavity, to right out the neck. I'm gonna let the spigots hit it and hold it. Same thing for the second one. Right through the cavity, right out the neck. You want to press them down tight. Put the top one on, come down where we're going to hold them, where they're going to spin. We're going to lock it in place. So now we can season our chicken. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. So the first step in what we're going to do for the seasoning is just use some vegetable gold cooking spray. This is going to make that skin really golden up. It's going to help that all-purpose rub to stick to the outside too. So I'm just getting a good coat of vegetable oil. And you can use regular vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever you want to use there. I just think the cooking spray is easy. Now we're coming with a salt, pepper, and garlic. If you've got a favorite chicken rub right here, hey, go ahead and use it. I like keeping the chicken simple. And we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the backside. A little more of the all-purpose seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic. Skin's gonna golden up real nice with that vegetable oil. So now we're ready to go outside and get the Napoleon fired up. I'm gonna run it with the rotisserie burner on about 475 to 500 degrees. Then we're gonna cook it till the breast hits an internal temperature of 165. It's probably gonna take about an hour at those temps, but we'll monitor it. We won't go by time alone. I'll get my thermopin out and we'll check that about after 30 minutes of cooking to see where we're at. We go to fire the grill up. We'll show you putting it on in just a second. Okay, we're out here at the Napoleon. I gave it about 10, 15 minutes to come up to temp and it's right at hitting 500 degrees. I've got that back rotisserie burner on high. It's rocking and rolling. Each side burner, the far sides, I've got set to the, as low as it'll go. So that's gonna help me hold that, maintain the heat all the way throughout this cook. Now we just have to, to get our rotisserie rod in the motor. So just place it up there and flip the switch. And I just like to make sure, eyeball it a little bit, make sure we're rotating good. You don't want it to stall out because it'll really burn it. The constant heat off that rotisserie burner in the back would burn it pretty good. So I'm just hitting a little bit more cooking spray here on the top where, it was, where this chicken was kind of sitting down. I'm going to re-season this back side next time it comes around. Any spots that I see is bare. It's a good time to get the sides. Ooh, this is going to be some good chicken. Looks like it's spinning just the way we want it. I'm gonna get the lid closed, let it do its thing. We're gonna check it, you know, about 30 minutes, see how we're doing with our internal temps. But it's gonna take it probably about an hour at this speed, this temp. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. We've been rotating these chickens. I just wanted to come see how they're doing. I'm starting to get some good color on them, man. That's why I wanna see that skin browning up. Looks real good on the backs. I want to let it spin around here and check our temps, see where we're at. I want it to be, um, you know, 165 in those breasts. We want to make sure they're done. So, oh yeah, breasts getting some color on them. Still see that herbs underneath that skin. Let's look right in here in this thick part. We're running about 130, 134. A little behind on that one. We still got a ways to go. We're only 30 minutes in, so we're going to keep on cooking. Just letting the grill stay where it is. The skin's going to brown up nice. It might split in spots. That's okay. We put all that butter underneath the skin. 
So it keep it nice and moist where it was. It's basting itself as it turns. That's what's great about rotisserie cooking on one of these Napoleons or any grill that you have the rotisserie set up for. Get you some chickens on there and give them a try. Close the lid, keep on cooking. All right, it's been another 15 minutes and I wanna check these temperature out on these rotisserie chickens. Total cook time so far has been about 45 minutes. I know it's, you know, they should be getting there. Let me go ahead and check a thigh here, see what we're feeling. Just wanna get in a thick spot. I want it to be about 175 in the thighs and we're like 178, so that's that's right in that range. I'm gonna spin it around and check the breast. I notice we're starting to get some you know, really good crispy looking skin on it. The seasoning's darkened up some. When it gets back around here, I'll stop it again. All right, let's check this breast up here in deep part. Look at that, 164, it's trying to hit 165. They're right at done. I'm, I'm gonna let them go, you know, just another five minutes to make sure, but that's where I want them. I don't wanna dry it out. So, you know, another five minutes, that'll be a 50 minute cook time, right in that 475 temperature range. That's perfect for rotisserie chicken. So I'm gonna close the lid, let it spin another five minutes just to be sure. Then we're gonna go ahead and get it off, take it inside and let it rest. We can get it off that rotisserie rod. Show you what they're like when they're finished, just a few minutes. All right, man, these chickens have temped out. It's been 50 minutes total cook time and I'm calling it, that is all they need. We're not done because we've got to get them inside and let them rest, but they look really good. And I highly suggest wearing some gloves when you take that rod off because it's hot. Uh, you need some liner on underneath them. Get you some heavy duty gloves or something to pull those rods off. And you don't want to pull it off right now. It's too hot to take apart. Let them sit inside 10, 15 minutes. They're going to cool down. Then we can take them off the rotisserie rod. Show you what we did. All right, we've had these rotisserie chickens hanging out for about 15 minutes on the cutting board inside. They're cool enough to handle now. So I went ahead and loosened up the lug there. I'm gonna take that end off. We're just gonna slide the chickens right off the rotisserie rod. Now we can see what we're working with. Let's get some of this string cut away. Man, that looks awesome. All right, so I've got to try this chicken. I'm just gonna take a piece off the breast here so you can kind of see what we're working with. It's got done all the way down and through. It's moist. And I wanna get a piece of those herbs. See the herbs are right under the skin. Man, I know that skin's gonna be nice and tender. Hmm. Rotisserie chicken on that Napoleon. That is hard to beat. Those herbs really give it a nice taste. Moist. Juicy. Let's see what that leg's working with. So good, I gotta try the white meat and the dark meat, right? Mmm. Oh, that's where it's at there. That leg just melted in your mouth. Perfect cook on it. Ton of flavor. Let's talk about how easy this was today. When we just started with two whole chickens from the supermarket, didn't do anything fancy, got them out of the package, removed all the uh, giblets that's in there, patted them dry with a paper towel. Then we took a stick of butter, salted butter, softened it up, added a tablespoon of fresh parsley, thyme, and a little rosemary. Mixed all that in the butter and then took some gloves and mashed it up under the skin. Spread it all around the meat. You kind of pull the skin back a little bit with your hands as you're stuffing that butter in there. Makes it simple. Then we tied it with butcher twine, real simple. Went around the neck, brought the legs up, and went back around, tied it tight, tuck the wings in. Makes a tight little compact package where it's gonna cook even as it's rotating. Sprayed the outside with some vegetable oil cooking spray. Seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic. How easy is that? Goes out on your rotisserie grill for about 50 minutes is what it took for this cook, but we started checking at half hour, 45 minutes. When we saw 165 in the breast and 175 in the dark meat, time to get it off and let it rest. Then you got awesome chicken just like this. Mm. Hey, thanks for checking out our video on rotisserie chicken today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel here, How to Barbecue Right. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Keep these videos coming all year long, so come back and check us out. Thanks.